So, if I remember correctly, I made my last video on November 12th. I'm talking about why 17.10.2 sucked and how everything past 17.7.1 for radiant settings uh, was a waste of time. And I had no intentions of upgrading. Um, I was having some real difficulty getting Radian Relive to work with 17.7.1 ever since Windows 10's Fall Creation Update from October installed on my computer. It's forced update on my computer. And so my wife and I were trying to find some alternatives. We tried uh, Afterburner, which was terrible quality. We tried Windows DVR, which had great quality, but for some reason Xbox DVR is not compatible. We had a hard time with the, the audio codecs when we translated it or uploaded the video onto DaVinci Resolve. So in a final attempt to try to fix what was broken, I decided to go ahead and re-download the latest Radian settings version, which at this time it's now 17.11.2. Got released November 17th. Um, very skeptical. I was actually a little scared because in my previous video talking about why Radian settings sucks, we got a comment from a user who said that his computer completely stopped working when he did the latest drivers. I'm willing to risk it if it means that we can have make great videos again. So last night I downloaded 17.11.2, the beta version, which originally it came out as a patch for running Battlefront 2 that has just come out recently. And I'm so excited because everything works. I was blown away. It was better than I expected. GPU scaling works, as you can see. StarCraft is right now being rendered at uh, 640 by 480. Relive works like a dream. Uh, Overwatch. Uh, I played like three or four rounds on Overwatch last night just to make sure that it wasn't going to crash on me. And I noticed in the release notes it said that if you're going to play Overwatch, make sure you turn AMD Relive off. I can play Overwatch with my friends without it freezing up. So pretty much everything that I said about why AMD sucks in my last rant video is now obsolete. And I'm so happy to be wrong. I've never been more happy to be wrong about a computer program before in my life. And to all of you people who did see my last video about why AMD Radiant Settings sucks, um, I just want to say that there is still hope. I don't know if AMD uh, sacked their whole software team and brought in a new team to work on it, or they just simply started flicking the joints out of all their uh, staff's hands and decided to uh, ban marijuana for a week so they could actually work but either way i'm super pumped so thank you amd thank you amd for making a driver that works and i want to make this video to thank you